what we are doing with our graduating class is recording a beautiful song called Smile. It's a beautiful jazz song and we are recording this in memory of our founder, Bob Colimo, who passed away a year ago. Bob played the saxophone, but he actually we, uh, didn't play it in front of these children. He was really, really private about that. Um, you could tell when he came to the orchestra, he would definitely have a leaning towards the saxophone players and he would listen and he would give feedback that is not layman. He would give very technical musical feedback so that you could tell he's quite an established musician himself. And uh, he actually bestowed his own saxophone to one of the young players. We have uh, woodwind strings, brass, saxophones, flutes, and then we've got French horn, the whole brass section, trumpet, tuba, and then we have got one euphonium and all the strings. It's been interesting because uh, because of social distancing, so we've had to record in uh, really small groups so that we can spread out. He would come into, into our rehearsals. We loved it because he would come at the very beginning of the term when we are learning new music, when, you know, it's very screechy, it's very, it's actually not, you know, very good sounding. But then he would come to the final product and he had the opportunity to see what it was at the end, to hear what it was at the beginning and hear it at the end and of course know the journey that we've come through. And with that, he would uh, really encourage. And that is experience they will live with for the rest of their lives, thanks to, to, to Bob Colimo. And so one year later, we still keep his dream. These people who are 10 to 18 now, in another 10 years, there will be a different breed of artist in this country because of that, and that will never die. Every single person here has got an experience that is hard to represent every single time that, uh, that they worked with Bob Colimo. So there's this legacy that is deep down in the hearts of the players and their families. That was Bob's vision. And uh, we, I think for us what you can say is thank you.